Hello and welcome to Game of Social. My name is Riffin, I'm here and let's play Assassin's Creed. In the last episode, we were doing this informer challenge and we failed it because we had to chase after a person to kill. Which apparently, apparently we can't do. So, we would have to do it all over again. And this time he isn't going to speak to us because we already know what we got to do. So I will follow this guy again and see if we have to kill the same people again. I don't know why he went back to his starting position. Because that's not really realistic, but these guys here are going to want to fight him again. Yeah, see. That's fine. Come on then. And you. Boom. And stab. Magic. You ready? Go on then. Let's try it again. Shall we? Let's try it again. And see if the other guy wants to actually run away after we kill his friend. Like in the last episode. That was rather unexpected. I thought I'd chase him down and kill him. But maybe just let him go. If that happens. Where are they? How do you even know we're coming? You can't see through walls. Come on then. Boom. Come on. Let me kill him. Magic, that's better. Ready to go, yeah? Let's go. Quickly does it. Why did the walk in such slow motion? Can't you make a bit of a rush of it? We got places to be, mate. Places to be. Go, go, go. Dear, oh dear. This is blending. Yay. Thank you, brother. Take this map. It lists Talar's hiding places. Useful information should that coward choose to run instead of fight. And from what I know of the man, run is what he'll do. By them. And then he runs off. How ironic. Okay. Magic. So that is it then. We have done everything we need to do. And now all we need to do is go to the assassination bureau. Because it is time in this episode to go against our next target. And we are going to have fun with it. Stupid bitch is trying to get money from us. Don't you dare for a rock at me, you utter bastard. Yeah, I saw you do that. God, if only I could assassinate her. Dear, oh dear. She attacked me. Not good enough, is it really? Jump! Nice jump there, I'll tell you. Nice jump indeed. Oh, hi there. I'll have your head. My bad. I know I'm over here. Oh my days. Come here. Fly off the edge. Whee! Magic. Doesn't cause us no threat, does he? He's flying off the edge. Oh, I almost missed there. No. Oh, that was close. Jump. Where is the assassination bureau? I can't remember. Oh, I missed it. Why did he do that? Why did he run off of the edge and not land where he needed to land? I will never know. Down, please. Thank you. Boom. Here we go, then. Hi there. Safety and peace, Malik. Your presence here deprives me of both. What do you want? Al Muellam has asked. Asked that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. I don't like him. That means I can get my crap. Come on then. Give me my feather, bitch. Thank you. Rest, prepare, cry in the corner. Do whatever it is you do before a mission. Only make sure you do it quietly. Can I assassinate him? I don't like him. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Right. We're ready then. 
We are ready. Let's do this. Let's see where we gotta go for our assassination target. It is as far away as possible. Which means after we assassinate him, we have to run as far away as possible back to where we came from. Yippee. How amazing for us. But oh well, we'll be there shortly. And this is the third and final um, assassination for this memory block. Actually, it's the second of this memory block, but after this one, we've done one from each city, which is cool. And then we'll move on to whatever we gotta do next. GM! Yay! Your life is now. <laughs> I have to just kill him. Just want to grab too much attention to myself. Jump down here. That did not hurt me at all. Actually, which I'm quite surprised at. I thought that would hurt me a little bit, but apparently not. But you can't complain, I suppose. Go away, stupid woman! I'm not helping you. Why do I want to help you? Hi there. Damn it. This way then. What's he doing that for? Yeah, they shouldn't be able to see me. When will he stop acting like a fool? What is that man? He's going to hurt himself. When he does, I won't help him. That worked. That worked out like a treat, didn't it? Sorry. I'm sorry. But it had to be done. Is there a way inside here at all? Not in the top, apparently. Down here, then. Oh. Bastards, what's going on? What now, slaver? Do not call me that. I only wish to help them. As I myself was helped. Help you me. do no kindness imprisoning Save them me. like this. Imprisoning them? I keep them safe, preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. <laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here. To think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. Yeah, he's doing what I told. Who called you here? You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this I did for you. Step into the light then, and I will grant you one final favor. Okay. Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. Okay. Boom. Kick his ass. And him. Kick his ass. Oh, I got punched in the face, so that's not good, is it? Stop punching them and learn to stab them properly. Stop punching them. That's better. Stop kicking them. One left. Yeah, that's the wrong damn way. This way. Here we go. Oh, he's running. Like the carrot he is. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Ow! You actually got me as well. You cheeky bastard! Come on then. Magic. Tim dead. Well, there he is. Down, 
Go on then. Hi there. Oh yes, I got him. My friend held him. To run now. Share your secrets with me. My part is play. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al Mualim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your God. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes. You would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind. They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No, not yet, it seems. But you will. Well, he's dead. Now I've got a bit of a run on my hand. Because there are people everywhere. And I've seen lost them already because my little friends have been helping me out, and I can't climb that. I can't climb that, I said. I cannot climb that, I said. There we go. Magic. Boom. Just wait inside there. No one will be able to find me. <laughs> They're still being grabbed at down there. They're still being grabbed. Now it's going to be a rooftop race. To get back to where I belong. Oop. Oh. Here we go then. Run, 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 run. That was quite simple in the end. That was quite an easy assassination. We must manage to kill a few guys, and we chased him down quite nicely. Jump! Oh, I'm going to have to kill this guy. Sorry. You fucking slutbag. Come on then. Magic. And jump over there. Somebody else sees me, apparently. Onto the ladder. Onto the ladder. Okay, just climb the button then, whatever. <laughs> if you really don't want to use the ladder, that's perfectly fine. Really? Where is he? I don't see him anywhere. It's him. Oh, you. you cannot run. That was magic, but it's still not good enough. I can go in here though. Yeah. It is our very existence we are fighting for. The infidel king would see us all fight. Problem solved. Go. Let's get in here. Whee! We did it. Altair, wonderful to see you return to us. And how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows. Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No. A skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik. But the fact remains I've accomplished the task set to me by Al Mualim. Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. Yes. What a bastard he is. We've done it, though. We have done it. One complete memory block. Look at that. That is good progress, that is. That's amazing. Come on then.
What's going on now? God damn it! What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something. How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Really? Do you want to speak to me? Do you have nothing to say? He's gone out into a massive blue light. Talk to me. Yeah, talk to me. Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. I can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. Anything else you want to say? No? What Sweet do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. <sighs> it was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad. That he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes. Here at Abstergo. Helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder... If they weren't behind at all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. Oh. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again, and he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nutjobs. But I'm alive. Anyway, I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. No, 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 we're not over yet. Let's, let's, let's talk some more. There must be more things you have to say. Go on. Aren't you tired? Aren't you? Some more? Anything more? Can't talk. Gotta work. Oh, fine. You sure? One last try? Aren't you tired? Oh, okay, she's repeating herself. But that is all we have time for in this episode. I will see you in the next one as we continue onwards. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you then. Boom. We got it. Um. Nah, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, my God's sake. Why did he walk into that? He didn't even bother to jump, even though I did tell him to. Oh, dear.